In a world where GitHub's paid copilot is taking the center stage, there's a growing need for open source alternatives that provide the same cutting edge capabilities without the price tag. This is where I introduced Tabby, where Tabby is a self-hosted AI coding assistant that offers a compelling alternative to GitHub's Copilot. Not only is it a new alternative, but it also brings a host of essential features such as a self-contained simplicity, you have an open API integration, as well as an integration to other open source models. You also have a GPU support for enhanced performances. Now, this isn't your regular AI coding assistant that we've taken a look on this channel. Now, this is just something that has an ability to also create different types of apps, models. It can help with code completion and so much more. Now, this isn't your regular AI coding assistant, as you mentioned. You can see this from this blog post example, where they basically showcase how the devs took a large language model and they pre-trained it on coding data for self-contained coding tasks. Now, if you go to the code snippet section in which they showcase this, you can see that the code snippet is to provide context. Now, what they have done is that the devs introduced this retrieval augmented code completion tool. So what this means is that the code snippets are used to provide the context. Now, this is a nifty feature, which is stated, and it's something that taps into the repository context to enhance code suggestions. Now, this is just one feature that they've introduced. There's so many other types of ranges of features that could be done with, or not done, but with uh, Tabby, like are associated with Tabby. And it's just the start of what we're gonna cover throughout today's video. We're gonna take a look at what you can do with Tabby, showcase its capabilities. Uh, we're also gonna take a look at how you can actually install it. And lastly, we're gonna showcase the playground feature in which you can access it off the web hosting. So with that thought guys, make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video. And with that thought, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. We're gonna be taking a look at Tabby today, which is an open source self-hosted AI coding assistant. Not only does it help you with your coding needs, but it will also help you with code completion, helping you create different types of apps, models, and so much more. Now, this is completely free and it's something that we're gonna take a look at throughout today's video. Now, I just wanna take a look at this example GIF over here. It gives you a good demonstration as to how it completes code. Now, you have two different examples being showcased in this GIF over here. First one is finding the prime and then testing if n is prime, sorry, and then finding the max element in an array. Now, to basically find the maximum element in array using Python, you need to use the max uh, parentheses function, and you're also able to do this by writing the simple loop. Now, this could be quite annoying to actually complete this, but in this case, if you press tab, you're able to auto complete it with Tabby, which is really, really convenient saves you so much more time and helps you out with completing whatever code you're trying to basically test or develop for any sort of application model or uh, any sort of like code that you're trying to generate and that's one of the great things about tabby you can see over here this is a good example as to what you can actually do with it now you're actually able to play around with this on their playground feature which is something that we're going to actually take a look at you can see over here, you can just click on the playground feature and you can start chatting and typing and generating code for it. So guys, it's quite easy. You can just play around with this by clicking enter, start typing in the code that you want. Uh, you can test anything and it gives you suggestions you can see over here. And if you just click, keep on clicking tab, you're able to focus on any of the suggestions that you're, it actually gives you. And if you do like that, you can just press tab and then keep on continue. This is basically just an easy way for you to get a better like generation for your code that you have in mind. And this will basically save you a lot of time. Now let's get to the next step of the video where we showcase how you can actually install this locally. So there's actually a couple ways to install this. You can use Docker, Docker Compose, Homebrew, you have Hugging Face Spaces, and you also have the Modal feature in which you can install all of these different types of 
methods to basically utilize Tabby. Now, another cool way is hosting this off your ID. And in this case, you can host it off of Visual Studio Code, uh, NeoVim. You can troubleshoot it as well as use Intelli, Intelli I, or IntelliJ platform, sorry. And these are such some of the cool methods for you to try this out. So in this case, if you want to install this on VS Code, it's very, very easy. You can open up Visual Studio Code and you're able to go into the actual extensions. You can search for Tabby and you'll be able to download it fairly easily right over here. You just simply click install and you'll be able to actually play around with it with your extensions over here. Now on their documentation, they have a good explanation as to which model you should use for code completion. You can see that mo small models less than 400 M's for CPU devices for 1 billion to 7 billion models. It's advisable to have at least an Nvidia T4 10 series or 20 series GPUs. And as for the 7 billion to 13 billion models, they recommend using Nvidia V100, A100, uh, 30 series as well as the 40 series GPUs and they basically give a good description as to which ones you can use star quarters you have the code llama models and for chat models you have the mistral as well as the wizard coder now this is for uh, code completion as well as for basically generating different like spectrums of like application software or whatever you're trying to do within the actual chatbot of the id or wherever you actually install it they also have a configuration tab which showcases how you can have the repository context for a code completion which is something we mentioned at the start you have the usage collection where the data is being collected as well as how you can input data so that it gives it the actual context that it requires for the actual code completion you have different types of supported languages you have rust python javascript typescript golang ruby and one of the great things is that this application was actually built using rust which is really really unique a couple of faqs you would want to actually look at before you install this is how much VRAM a LLM model consumes. We took a look at this, but in this case, by default, Tabby is operating using Intel's eight mode with CUDA, and it requires approximately eight GB of VRAM for the Code Llama 7 billion parameter model. Now, if we went back to the actual configuration, we saw uh, for the model directory that it requires approximately uh, using the best NVIDIA V100 uh, GPU or the 830 series GPUs. So definitely keep this in mind before you go in to using this with whatever models that I have over here because you don't want to fry your computer or basically have a slow processor that's trying to utilize the larger models when it's actually not able to. Now, another question is what GPUs are required to reduce the precision inference? Gives you a good description for this. It also asks you how you can convert my own model for use with Tabby and it gives you instructions to do this. And lastly, it also gives you a demonstration as to utilizing multiple NVIDIA GPUs. This will help the performance as well as make you utilize your GPUs to actually help you generate the code that is needed as well as running the models that would be best fit for this application. Now, in terms of the roadmap, something that I really like about this application is that it's something that they've been working on for a long time and it's something that they continuously improved upon. You can see on the repo that they have been adjusting this uh, on the daily, you can see on their website, as well as the code configuration, they always modify it so that it's efficient and it's for the best use case for you. So in this case, they have a couple of things that they have planned for Q4 of 2023. They want to improve the rag by deeper integration with tree sitter uh, using custom queries. You have the M1 and the M2 GPU support so that it can utilize Llama CPP. You have improving the documentation and tutorials. This is something that is a work on. They're also trying to explore more creative ways to interact with Tabby. Now, one thing that I really like about this off software, or not software, but this application is that it's an open source application. And it means that it's something that you can build upon. So this is something that will definitely be developed further as the community keeps on working with this, with the actual developers who created this to help improve and bring creative ideas 
to make it more efficient and more effective for a lot more of developers and coders. With that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on Tabby. It's an open source self-hosted AI coding assistant that is quite easy to configure as it's state, stated here. It's very efficient and it'll definitely help you guys out in generating a code using AI. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you guys haven't already to access our private Discord. Definitely give World of AI on Twitter a follow if you guys haven't. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.